Find the domain of the function f of x equal to square root of x plus 1 minus 1 over square root of 9 minus x squared. We're taking the domain of a function, so we'll need to worry about two things. We're not allowed to take the square root of a negative number. We're not allowed to divide by 0. In our case, these are both going to be problems. Now, to proceed, what are we going to do? Well, if I want x in the domain of f, what's going to have to happen is, when we put x into this term, a number has to come out, so that's to be defined. If I put x into this term, a number has to come out, we have to be defined here too. So the idea is going to be, x is going to have to be in the domain of the first term, and x is going to have to be in the domain of the second term at the same time. So that means if we find each domain, we want to take the intersection. Now, for the first term, we have square root of x plus 1. So that's going to be defined. Okay, the rule is square root of box is going to be defined where box is greater than or equal to 0. Now, we're just going to take x plus 1, put it in the box, and solve. So I'm looking for where x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So it's going to be where x is greater than or equal to minus 1. That's domain of term 1. For term 2, we're going to have two things going on at once. First, we're going to have to worry about division by 0, and then we have to worry about taking the square root of a negative number. So, first step, 1 over box is going to be defined where box is not equal to 0. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the denominator, that's going to be the box, set it equal to 0, find those points, and then we throw them away from our final answer. For the second part, we want to know where square root of box, okay, box is going to be what's inside the square root, it's going to be 9 minus x squared, that will be defined where box is greater than or equal to 0. So for the first part, we want to know where box or the denominator is equal to 0, so that's just looking for where square root of 9 minus x squared equals 0. Square both sides, I have 9 minus x squared equals 0. Then I have x squared equals 9, or x equals plus or minus 3. Those points are not going to be in the domain. That's where we're dividing by 0. So whatever answer we get, we throw those points away. Then, we are take a look at square root of box, where box is 9 minus x squared. So we'll have to have box is greater than or equal to 0, or 9 minus x squared is greater than or equal to 0. So how do we find those points? First, we find where we're equal to 0. So that's just going to be minus 3 and 3. And then we check one point in each region. Okay, if we know the sign of a value coming out of one point in each region, we know the sign on the values for all points in the region. So for instance, if we put 0 in, we get 9 minus 0. So it's 9, that's positive. That means all points in this region are going to have positive values. Then if we put in minus 4, I'm going to get 9 minus 16 is a minus 7. So in this region, we're going to have all negative values when we put them into the function. So we'll throw that away. And then if I put 4 in for this region, we'll again get a minus 7. So I'm going to throw away all points in this region here. So, the only thing we're going to keep is the interval from minus 3 to 3. Now note, we're going to throw away the points plus and minus 3. So for the domain here, we're going to put in open circles. So that's going to be domain for term 2. Now we have both our domains, so what we're going to do is put each domain on a real line separately. And then the rule is going to be we just take vertical lines. If I go through both domains, then we keep the point. If we go through only one, throw it away. If you go through neither, don't do anything. So what's going to happen? For our second region, okay, we're looking at this interval from minus 3 to 3, keeping the endpoints out, shade it in. And then domain for term 1 is going to be take minus 1, include it, and then take everything to the right. So as I take vertical lines, what's going to happen? We're going to start at minus 1. We're going to keep minus 1. They're just going to go to the right till we hit 3. And then we're not including 3, so it's an open circle. So this is going to be our domain. So we'll have minus 1 less than or equal to x less than 3. 